They're one of our nation's oldest and largest air combat commands, flying around the world to defend the country since the days of World War II. Now a group of airmen and women are breaking a record in the Persian Gulf after spending more than 6,000 days in the region. David MacDougall takes flight with the Fighton 55th. Back in 1990, most of these airmen were still in elementary school. And their plane, the top-secret rivet joint, was being deployed to the Persian Gulf for the first time. That deployment came before there was a war on terror, even before the first Gulf War. And this week, they're marking 6,000 days of continual presence in the region. Flying on that deployment 16 years ago was one of the first female combat crew members in the Air Force. But times have changed. Today, the squadron has more than 40 women on staff. Bianca Bouchard is a new member of the team, serving on just her first assignment. She's left her family behind in Georgia during the four-month mission. You no, know, it has its moments. You know, there are, some, there are times that I wish I could go home and just be with my family or, you know, not have to deploy necessarily. But I come out here and I'm really glad about the mission that I support. And I can only express utmost admiration and respect for the guys who've been doing it as long as they have. But not everyone at the 55th Air Wing is so fresh-faced. Master Sergeant Denny Nichols tells me he's not old, just well-seasoned. And he spent his entire career working with this plane. Uh, you get a chance to, to, to teach some of those younger folks that are coming onto the jet with uh, stuff that they could never have thought of all, all by themselves and say, hey, I've got something for you. Let me show you why you're doing something. Uh, uh, there's a big, huge satisfaction in that, especially when they get it. There is some controversy whether this 6,000-day deployment is an Air Force record. Other planes may have been on assignment longer, but at bases outside a war zone. And don't forget, these airmen spent a lot of time away from home, flying missions 24-7. But whether it's an official record or not, it didn't stop crews from celebrating this week, marking an important milestone in the Fighting 55th's history. With the Air Force in the Persian Gulf, David McDougall, Fox News.